We lost one. Just us now, mate. Champions out. I beat the fall. I'm saying, hi, like, talk to me, bro. Hello there and welcome to the Breath Squad. If you're new here, hi, hello, bonjour. My name is Breath and I make weekly Apex videos, so please consider subscribing. And before we even begin, let's make a deal just between you and me. If you watch the video and learn at least one thing from the video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. So today we'll be talking about how to 1v3 squads in Apex Legends. This is a very useful skill that you need to learn if you ever want to be a good player. And it will always come in handy, especially if you're a solo player like me. And even if you 3 suck, it will still help you get those clutch moments when the rest of the squad is down. So the most important thing you should know is that the basis of 1v3 is controlling the situation. If you control the situation, you will lead the opponents to make mistakes and those mistakes will make them lose and make you win, make you come out on top. So first thing you should learn to do is movement. Movement is the backbone of Apex. If you come from other FPS shooters like COD and Valorant, Apex might feel a bit hard even if you know how to aim. This is because the movement of Apex is unique and you should take your time to learn this movement if you ever want to be a decent player. The movement I'm talking about consists of things like strafing, wall jumps, zipline jumping and many others which will make you a hard target to hit. I've not made any movement video yet but I definitely will so be on the lookout for that. In the meantime you can watch some other great guides from other YouTubers that I'll link in the description they might be a bit rusty because a lot of the movement mechanics have changed over time second accuracy is key learn to hit your shots you can do this by practicing using aim lab playing the game a lot or even more efficiently spending some time in the firing range to learn how different guns in apex work learn their recoil patterns or maybe even bring a friend along and hold someone once between you to get used to the different character hitboxes and simulate some in-game situations. Third, learn how to braid. If you've been in high ranks lobbies or even watched the pros play, you probably have seen teammates ignore their down teammates. This is because high skilled players know how to bait. It's a certified way to get a kill off of a down player. So if you're not following, how baiting works is this. Knock down one member of the enemy team but don't touch them just get back behind cover and heal up or even pretend to back away the team will definitely be tempted to revive their teammate so once you hear the audio cue of the revive starting get out of cover and get yourself an easy kill off of the teammate that's reviving and make it a winnable 1v1 now this may not work all the time and at times it may you may be better off finishing the down teammate for example if the enemy has a lifeline or gibby on their side these are characters with the highest revive capability and they can be very annoying to fight so if you touch their teammate camp the death box or watch it from afar and they'll definitely come for their banners and you can finish the job the next point should have probably come first and i guarantee that you'll hear this in every 1v3 guide you watch the tip is splitting trios into solos so that you can fight them as 1v1s the logic behind this is pretty obvious because you'll, you'll absolutely get shredded if you try DP out dpsing or out damaging a three man that has devotions or Volt SMGs. So the way you do this is by playing in and out of cover. Always make sure that at least one third of your screen is covered by something. Something, maybe even a wall or a piece of cover that will reduce your hitbox size and that you can retreat to if they get off a lot of damage on you. And if possible, get yourself the high ground or make them lose the high ground. My last tip for you is to heal as frequently as possible. Use any few seconds you get to at least pop a batch, a cell or maybe a syringe 
And an important thing you should know is that cells and bats go off faster than syringes and medkits. So yeah, I'll advise popping cells and bats before syringes and medkits. And if you keep up with the Apex community, you know that many lifeline mains were mad when fast heals were removed from her kit because this is 90% of the reason why many people likes lifeline she was so easy to play as a solo and one with three squads because of her fast heal passive if you made it this far i appreciate you so much thanks for your support please like the video if you haven't already because you're obviously enjoying it so far <laughs> so just do me one more favor and go hip thrust that like button it doesn't cost you anything but it helped me out a ton so bonus tips for you my good humans for your support first nades are helpful in 1v3s they'll help you in depositioning enemies and leading them out of cover into exposed areas where you can melt them easily also nades can deal splash damage to all of the enemies at once so just keep at least three nades in inventory if you have enough space in your backpack don't overstock on almond hills and forget the nades second confidence with confidence 50 percent of the task is already done don't panic when you're in a 1v3 situation if you lose the battle mentally then you've already lost the battle in real time just believe that you are rambo jet Li, ape man or any other guy that you know can fight 10 men at once take the fight that way and you'll most definitely win So that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you picked up something from the video thank you so much for your continued support it really means a lot to me feel free to share the video to your friends and teammates if you found it helpful please hit the like button if you learned anything from the video it will really help both the channel and the video in the search results also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already it's absolutely free and that is a wrap see you in the next video have a lovely day ciao